It's been a long while since I last reviewed a microphone, at least it feels that way. However, since for the month of April and onward I would like to go back to focusing on streaming gear, I thought that it would be nice to get a bit of a head start and see what the market has to offer. That's when the folks over at SmallRig reached out to me about reviewing their 4 Vala U60 model and I would consider this one to be the Blue Yeti Killer 2022. So let's dive right in. For more content, do make sure to subscribe to this channel because we upload fairly often and focus on all sorts of tech products. So do make sure to leave us a like and comment any of your thoughts down below while you're at it. It really helps us with the algorithm. And if you want to support us further, then we've actually got a Patreon open, which offers early access to content and special insight to projects that I'm always working on in case that is something that interests you. So links to everything down below. So while I unbox this, I wanted to say that I will be recording this entire video with this microphone so that you can hear what it sounds like for content creation, but I will also be streaming with it tonight, as in the same night that this video comes out, so that you can ask all of your questions live. So why not follow me on Twitch? Links to my Twitch are going to be down below, and I'll be streaming at 8pm Eastern Time. The exterior design consists of aluminum alloy and zinc alloy, as it has a mixture of, of metals to get this particular build. It has a blue Yeti-esque design to it, but it's got more details around the shell as is. It's matte black, so it repels fingerprints nicely, and I appreciate that. You will find a microphone gain knob around the front, and a headphone knob on the front as well. Then on the back, you're going to find a polar pattern switch. Lastly, on the bottom, you're going to find a mounting thread with an adapter for smaller threaded arms, a headphone jack, and a USB-C port. This is honestly a pretty simple look, and I can't really ask for too much more than that, really. The stand itself is quite nice. It's also made of aluminum, and it's very smooth. It can be used as a shock mount on your desk, but without this stand, there is no shock mount for this microphone at all. However, this microphone is built to be used on your desk anyway, so that's a good way of using it too. So this microphone, this is a cardioid condenser microphone with a frequency response of 50 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Now, this microphone has a pretty distinct sound signature to it that we will touch on in the sound test. So yeah, now let's actually get into said sound test. So this is what this microphone is going to sound like at 80% gain with no additional changes to it, and that's how I will keep it for the rest of this review. This microphone, as I'm sure you've been able to hear this whole time, favors the mids quite a bit, which isn't exactly my preference when it comes to audio. But it still sounds pretty good in my opinion, and I still think that it does a fairly decent job at sound rejection. However, it's a condenser microphone, so if you're typing near it, you will definitely hear that and here's going to be a test with a mechanical keyboard. Like for example, I have a mechanical keyboard directly behind it, and this is what it's going to sound like when I type. That's what it's going to sound like when I got a text message in the middle of filming. And also, this is going to be the test for the proximity effect, so now I am considerably closer to this microphone. Now I'm very close to this microphone. I'm almost kissing this microphone from how close I am to it, but this is what it sounds like from here. This is what it sounds like from just a little bit further away, maybe like six inches away. The, now this is what it sounds like from about a foot away or so, and this is actually how I prefer to use it. Anyway, this microphone does do something very well, and that's going to be something that the Yeti fails at, and that is how it handles plosives. Throughout this review, I haven't encountered any issues with plosives, and I would go as far as to say that getting a pop filter for this is somewhat redundant, because it already does well with plosives. However, because of that emphasis in the mids, I can't really help but to feel that this microphone does sound more compressed and less natural, which is what condenser microphones are known for. Better sound at the cost of sound rejection. So this microphone does sound more like a dynamic microphone than what it does a condenser. But it is still a pretty good sounding microphone for the money, and I do prefer how this one sounds over the Yeti, since the Yeti has issues with sibilances and plosives without a doubt, which this one does eliminate almost entirely. 
Now, as for the monitoring test, I would consider it to be fairly accurate. I do sound nasally, both in the recording and in the monitoring when I hear myself back, but the recording definitely sounds cleaner, so I wouldn't really put all of my stock into trusting the amp on this microphone for giving you one-to-one -one sound, but it is still pretty good, or pretty close to what you will get. So in conclusion, this is a pretty good microphone that warrants a recommendation. This is a $90 microphone that comes with everything that I would need, though I do wish that I could tweak the sound a bit. I would have traded the polar pattern switch, for example, for perhaps some sound presets that changed the EQ. I think that that would have been more useful since, it, since if you're watching this video, you probably are going to be the kind of person that would use this microphone in cardioid anyway, so it wouldn't really matter to have the other polar patterns. For $90, this is a pretty good USB microphone, but it's just pretty good for the money. It's nothing really too crazy, so keep your expectations in check. However, stop by tonight's stream since I'll be streaming with it and answering all of your questions live in case I missed anything that you would like to know. So thank you so much for watching this video all the way up until the very end. It is always appreciated. Now, if you are interested in getting this microphone, I am going to leave a link down below. It's not affiliated. Uh, so, yeah, I, I mean, just go ahead and check it out. It is going to be uh, available on Amazon. And also, I wanted to give a very special thanks to all of the patrons, especially beginning with the Tier 3s, which are going to be Omar and Aliyah. Thank you so much for all of your support, because it really does go a long way. And now the rest of the patrons should be appearing right on screen right now, so you should see everybody else, too. Thank you to all of you for being so supportive. Now, with that said... Please make sure to follow me on Instagram and on Twitch as well, where I'm going to be streaming with this microphone. And I like to answer questions, so ask away. Now with that said, this has been Francisco from Tech Summit. Thank you for watching, and I will be seeing you all later. Enjoy.